completely, uh, I think it's apt that you're doing the interview today as captain as this Oxford City team. That today, although the result didn't go our way and we don't do things the easy way, that was our highest ever finish in our 140 year history and it's the second successive season we'll be playing in the National League South playoff semi-final. We'll get onto that in a little bit. Let's talk about the game first. Difficult game, game of two halves, just said that to Ross. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, very frustrating. Uh, I think we had plenty of chances first half. They made some great blocks on the line numerous times. Um, but we, we wasn't quite at it today, um, which is disappointing. Um, but we, we go again and, um, yeah, we'll we look what we've done wrong and um, improve on that. What is the mood in the dressing room like after that? I know, you know, frustrating. First half I thought we were brilliant. Second half was difficult, especially against 10 men and, and the low block, if you like. Um, bittersweet, I imagine. Yeah, definitely. You summed it up. Yeah, bittersweet. Um, obviously, it's a great accomplishment for this club to get, get to that position. Um, today we just weren't quite at it like I said um, but I think if you look at the whole the whole season it's been positive and to do it sort of back to back getting to playoffs is a great achievement for this club Seems to be a kind of similar story you know we, we're creating so many chances but not really putting too many away um, the, the phrase that I, I always use with the gaffer is we know our standards and, and we do so is there, what I'm, I suppose I'm getting at is there more to come from this team? Definitely, I think there's always more to come. You can always look at, look to improve. I think when they've they've had the lads sent off, it's hard when they get in a low block, um, get numbers behind the ball. It's not easy to play against. Um, but like I said, we had a lot of chances first half to maybe kill the game. We didn't. Um, so that's something to look on as a team as a whole. Um, but it's difficult to play against ten men when they play in the low block. And fair play to them second half. They took their chances and, and fair play to them. As you carry on in the in the game three locked off the line they're just sitting deep um you know they scored two they're only two attacks of the game pretty much he's starting to think it's not your day i think so i, I, I think so i think like i said we've we got to do better first half of the chances we had um and the goals were, were sloppy um so as, as a whole we, we could have done better with, with taking our chances and the goals so it's a it's a team effort um we'll brush ourselves down and go again and I think it's, it's difficult not to get too disappointed on today's result because if you look at the whole package, the whole season, I think we've had a lot more, a lot more better games than we have bad. Um, and that's something not to get too disappointed about and just improve on that performance and um, look to the playoffs. I was, I was going to say that. I think I, I said this to, to Ross actually just, just a few minutes ago. It's, it's nice to actually, although today didn't go our way for whatever reasons, whether it was not being our best, maybe not getting the the, uh, the look of the draw, if you like, with some decisions. It's nice to finish in the top three. I think it's I think it's kind of deserved in the season. That's my opinion. Would you agree with that? Definitely. I know it's cliche, but the, the table doesn't lie. We're there on merit. I think um, we, we've worked tre- tremendously hard as, as, a, as a group of players, as a club. Um, trying to progress and move forward and I think that's, that's shown and obviously getting into playoffs two years in a row is, is a big achievement um, and we're going to tap the playoffs and, and see what happens take it game by game and see what happens We're not done there they exactly what you said now this is this is something I, I want to ask you so, uh, you know you see it on the in, in the Premier League on the last day Football League whatever end of the game you've had your debrief seven added minutes at Chelmsford What's it like as a player? You know, your fate's elsewhere. Uh, did someone have the phone on, looking at was someone on the radio? Were you relying on the fans? What What was it like as a player? You know, just it must it must have been horrible. Yeah. yeah, no, a bit a bit of a mix of both three. And a few lads had the had the phones on, and a, a few of the fans you could see their reaction. Um, but like I said, we we didn't really want to get in that position. We wanted to obviously take the three points with a better performance, but it wasn't to be. And we've made the playoffs. We finished third, so I think it's important to look at the positives and um, and yeah, move forward. Moving forward. I usually say, you know, next game it's X team. We don't know. That's the beauty of finishing third. Um, what's this week going to be like for you and the players? You know, you've got, you know, last year we, we, we had that eliminator, brilliant atmosphere. You know, everyone had their, um, you know, the heart and the sleeves played in that, which ultimately made the, the Saturday or the Sunday against Dorking a little bit more difficult. Is it nice to have that little bit of rest by, or are you just biting at the, champing at the bit to go again? Um, yeah, I think it's important. Like I said last year, we had a tough game uh, in midweek, then played at the weekend, and um, yeah, I think it took it out of our legs a little bit. But this year, obviously, we can do a lot of prep on who we're playing, whoever that may be. Um, but I think it's all about us. We're going, like, like we take every game, we're, we're positive and um, take the game to the opposition. Um, and it's a one-off game and, you know, what what, what can happen? Um, 
who knows? But um, we we'll give it everything like we have all season, and um, yeah, see what happens. You've, you know, you, you're pretty much a, a club legend. Pretty much, you're in the top ten of appearance. All those, I don't think it's too premature <laughs> to say that. You might not agree <laughs> yourself, um, but you know, out of all the t- city teams you've played with, this is the this is officially technically the best the best team st- um, statistically. Where does it rank in your opinion? Yeah, like I said, it's just, it's up there. Um, definitely up there. Like I said, it's a it's a great group of lads. Um, I think you can tell many games where this season where we've, we've sort of it's been tough places to go and we've got results that just shows the character we've got on the side um, but it's, yeah, it's definitely up there with the, the best best teams I've played in um, we've got great characters and great players all, all round and uh, yeah it's a joy, joy to be a part of and hopefully we can go one step further than uh, last year How does it differ to last year? How excited are you going into this one? Same amount of excitement? A little bit more this time around? Or you know, you're not even thinking about it? Yeah, so I think now obviously we're, we're focused on the game, it's just gone and um, see what we can improve on, but um, we'll do a lot of prep on whoever we're playing um, and we just got to go in there with, with belief and like I said, see what happens and, and go from there. Well, Fleety, thanks for your time, commiserations, yeah. congratulations and, and I'll see you on Sunday. Top man, thanks top mate.